welcome back to Entrepreneurship Tuesday on Y in the morning at Y254 channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles at Michelle Ashira is where you can reach out to me across all my social. This particular session we're looking at the videography business. If you're a lover of music and you love good quality videos and also film, this is a conversation you want to stick around for, especially if you want to get into this particular business in studio i am joined by king slacky who is the ceo of touch of a king films thank you very much for creating time to be with us thanks a lot tuanzi hapo majina yako yalivyokuwa kwenye id jina doubt king slacky king slacky well jina za mpesa ni michael kisavi michael kisavi yes Okay, so mm -hmm. when did Michael uh, fall in love with uh, videography? Ah, well, uh, around 2011. Okay. Yes, that's when I grew passion of uh, photography. Oh, he started with photography? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pole pole, he can grow into videography. Okay. Yes. So how did you gain the skills of being a videographer? <laughs> wow uh all i can say it's a uh, self taught because i use uh, i use the um, youtube tutorials okay yes uh, actually i've never been un uh, been under someone <laughs> yeah okay so yeah that's nice i i have had that conversation with someone here and i was like uh, how did you get the skills i'll be like they were like uh, self-taught but it is not really self-taught because it's youtube <laughs> yeah it's true it's true <laughs> So it all started from YouTube and then uh, how did you acquire your first uh, camera? Because I know when it comes to <laughs> videos and taking nice pictures, it requires, you know, good quality and that is expensive. Yes. Yeah? So yeah. how did you get your tools of production? How did you go about that? First, I used to hire them. Mm -hmm. Then with time, I mm -hmm. save pole pole. Mm -hmm. Then later on, I, I bought mine. Mm, okay. Yes. So, how did you did you how did you raise the capital? Did you save? Did you harambe? You call friends <laughs> and all that. So, how did you raise? No, it? actually, music pays. Mm -hmm. So, from the clients, while I'm going to find kazi, wakini patia na haya na kidogo, then the rest na save. Okay. So, from the savings, that's when I bought my own equipment. Would you say that you were intentional when you, when you started that you knew this is what I wanted to do like, <laughs> full time? <laughs> Not really. Because mm -hmm. uh, I'm air affairs and ticketing. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so actually my mom thought I'm a potezado, mm -hmm. and at mm -hmm. the end of the road, I'm not doing whatever nearly so Okay. Yeah. So did you, did you put your certificate into, Nini, into work? Did you look for jobs? Did you work for how long did you work before you ended up being a videographer? Actually, after I graduate, mm -hmm. that was the end of that career. Okay. Sikuwe si itafuta job, wala sikuwe do anything, I mean, uh, sikuwe ifany anything with the certificate. Okay. So immediately, ile time nilikuwa, tuseme mamaliza shule niko home, nilikuwa naka digital camera. So mm -hmm. I used to piga piga tu picha mtaani and all that. Na kuja back, ni, uh, nilikuwa naka computer kwa hao, na zi edit. So there is this uh, a friend of mine is also a videographer by the name Jay Menge. So Jay Menge gave me his uh, wedding pics ni mweditie. So ni vile ni mweditia eh akaniambia Kings uki transfer e skills into visuals I think itakuwa poa. So that's how I uh, nilianza to videography Hey, it's stupid like I'm being there. To look up place in you, you, first of all, you started with photography, then you ent ended up doing videography. Yes. Now, editing skills, uh, mm -hmm. d d is it something you're also interested in? Or is it just like, um, um, you know, like a co-product, uh, a co-product when it comes to, if you're a photographer and you're a videographer, you have to know how to edit. Yes, yes. Okay. First of all, I think uh, uh, creative in the Okay. Yeah, na 
kama wewe ni photographer definitely lazima ujue ku edit mm -hmm. yes all right mm -hmm. so from uh, the point where you are editing and then uh, <coughs> you transfer the skills to videography yeah. what was your first project and uh, <laughs> what was the reaction from the client <laughs> <laughs> well wow well, it's a funny one <laughs> because uh, mm -hmm. my first project okay ilikuwa ya mkongolese flani mm -hmm. and uh, ilikuwa a big song but sikuwa najua. Mm -hmm. Now mimi ni ile nilijifanya najua job. Unfortunately sikuwa najua settings. Unajua kamera ya photography tule tudogo tu digital tu mm -hmm. ni tofauti na kamera video. Yes. Now nilienda nikahaya kamera video sijui settings, sijui anything. Mimi ndio huyo nikaenda kwa field. Ah okay. uh, kumbe mwenye alinipatia alikuwa make set. Unaelewa ilikuwa tu on a default ni kufika kwa field nika shoot ilikuwa na scenes mbili za indoors na outdoors so vile tulienda kwa indoors because tulikuwa na malizia kwa church he camera sinaona giza mimi napigia mwenye camera eh camera yako nikae imespoil aioni <laughs> subject ni so ana try kuniambia niongeze iso vitu kama hizo mm -hmm. you know Delight. but mimi sijui iso ni nini mm -hmm. so tulienda pa tukutumia hizo 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 indoor shots so nikamweditia zile za outdoor and there's a same funny thing that video won uh, awards back in Congo ilikuwa ni tuinge kuaheri yani ilikuwa big song what's the name of the artist ah uh, mas masilia oh. yes inge kuaheri mm -hmm. so that was my very first project okay ate mwenyewe alikuwa mm -hmm. ananiamini yako anajua mm -hmm. ninajifunza na job yake okay yes uh, something you mentioned earlier which is very important that the fact that you failed but you, you you never you know you never gave up you still pushed on and everything and what would you, what would you tell someone who's watching this and they have failed in a particular project in mm -hmm. terms of business or even if it's in film what would be what would be your advice to that person Ah, persistence and perseverance is mm -hmm. the key. Okay. Yeah, and consistency. Oh, right. Yeah, because uh, kuanguka imanishi ndio mwisho. Okay. Yeah. Amuka fight, fight, fight. At the end of the road, utakuwa familiar with the situation. All right. Would you say uh, that packaging is also aspect of just uh, winning your clients trust cuz <laughs> your, your clients alikuwa mekuaminia the lady that is like you know she didn't know she thought like you had it all figured out. So would you say for if you're in in this particular business that you have to package yourself in a particular way so that you can you know win <laughs> your clients trust. I think the key is the uh, self uh, confidence. Self confidence. Yes, yes. Yes, yeah. and having the skills which is more important. Yeah, it's true, it's true. <laughs> and that's something unique about you is that you only do videos for gospel music. Yes. Why did you take that road? Why did you decide for it to be that way? Naza sema actually unajua mimi nimegrow uh, place ni mona vitu mingi ziki happen na most probably ni because nilikam ku find out those people wako wana put god mbele that's why vitu zao zilikuwa zina fall naelewa okay that's the reason as to why i decided like uh mimi nitamshia huyu mungu and i will only work uh, gospel uh, music mm -hmm. yes okay so looking back uh, when you started that is back in 2011 yes 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 2011 yeah so when did the touch of king start when did you establish the company uh, first of all i have worked under a couple of labels before you started your yes, company yes exactly okay. mm -hmm. uh maxton hits mm -hmm. gave me the docket mara kwanza okay so nika perfect skills zangu kidogo mm -hmm. later on uh, uh, i met with abidingoso mm -hmm. and he gave me platform in fact he and the men ship ame yani uh, ame ame raise a lot right. so then on 2016 nilikuwa nimeenda uganda nikarudi back to kenya in uh, 2016 when mm -hmm. i came back that's when i started touch of a king Oh, yes. Did you have a business plan? What was the whole idea? What, at what particular time did you feel like this is the time to start something of my own, my own company? Ah, uh, unajua nikiwa kwa bedi, mhm. Mm nilikuwa like ndio 
nina ninakuwa bado oh, okay. yeah so na mtu rich please unaona ah now you've grown uh, wings enough to fly on your own mm -hmm. yeah so when i came back mm -hmm. uh, that's when i started my own uh, uh, company mm -hmm. Yes. When it comes to you working with the artists and different projects, how do you come up with your rating card? What determines that this particular video is going to cost this much and this particular video is going to cost you no know, extra of this much? Depends with the concept of the song. Okay. Yes. Artist and is a member about Ndege na airport and all that. Na jo sita mshutia kwa streets. Makes sense. Yeah, definitely to tenda kwa inquire about planes <laughs> and all that, you know. <laughs> so uh, basically it depends with uh, the writings or rather mm -hmm. the message in your song. Okay. Mm -hmm. So from there then you sit down with an artist and you decide this particular amount is what yes, is going to cater yes, for this yes. and this and that. Yeah. Right. So far looking back, do you have any regrets when you start in the company? No, 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 not at all. How many clients have you had since when you started? Let's mention uh, artists that, you know, they've done well and you're actually proud of it. Because you can mention all of them. Yes, yeah, true. Yes, maybe the videos that you've done and you, you probably they got award. A recognition of a sort, that's it. Ha, mtu wakwanza kabisa neza sema mwenye ni moona hivi, akianza, and I'm proud of that uh, particular project or person. Mm -hmm. Ni Steven Casolo, okay. the song Kitole. That, that video is what you, you did that video? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, another artist ni Nyuki Saluti. Mm -hmm. Yes. Na zingine zingine pia. Okay, mm. so let's look at mm. your marketing strategy. When it comes to, at the end of the day, it's a business, it has to be out there. People have to know about your business. So what sort of marketing strategies do you use? Uh, we have a team. Mm -hmm. Mm, led by one Godwin Wendo. Actually, once in Memaliza project, mm -hmm. I normally call Wendo uh, to Naskiza project Yenyewe. Mm -hmm. Then from there, ndio tutajua hii tanziwa wapi, kama ni print media, kama ni interviews, ama kwanza ni kuzisambaza zi pate airplay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm. Has there been a situation whereby you've worked with a particular artist and they felt, uh, this, is not, this is not what I wanted after the, you know, the final product. Has, have you been faced with that particular situation? Unfortunately, no. Not yet? <laughs> not yet. Let's <laughs> say <laughs> not yet, yeah. You just never know yeah, the future, true, right? right. Yes. So, uh, what are a couple of challenge, challenges that you've faced along the way? Ah, uh, uh, when I was uh, robbed of my equipment. Okay. Yes. Uh, which equipment are these? Uh, you said the cameras? Yeah, cameras, cameras and lights. Yes, everything, okay. in fact, because you uh, took out my talk shoot. Wow. Yeah. So, how did you... How did you come back from that uh, that drawback of just losing your tools of production? You know? oh. <laughs> wow, it will take time mm -hmm. because it will be an investment in your life. Yangu yote, you Absolutely. It will be a life savings, it will be a invest everything in mm -hmm. these equipment. But still, to narudi pale ukianguka, you stay pale chini. Ah, so you need uh, ku, ku, kujipea moral, then you fight back. Right. Yeah. Are there any form of insurance cover that are there to just uh, cater for a situation like this where you lose your, your tools of production? Uh, by then, as you grow but right now, we mm -hmm. introduce. Okay. Yeah, even uh, kuna cover ya artists, mm -hmm. una insure voice yako. Okay. Yeah, in case maybe when they upate shida na voice yako, mm -hmm. utakuwa covered. Ah, yeah. like uh, the artist from TZ, uh, Omi Dimples. Omi Dimples, yeah, you uh, see. Situation like that. Yeah. Okay. Kama ya likuwa mechikuwa cover, definitely mm -hmm. itam All right. Yes. All right. So, what are a couple of achievements uh, that you have acquired along the way? <laughs> I won't mention, but mm -hmm. nezema a lot, a mm -hmm. lot, yeah. A lot. From the music industry. A well, lot. Probably could give us like one that stands out. I think uh, buying my mama a piece of land, mm -hmm. I can term that as a greatest achievement okay. that I've achieved from the music industry. Uh, bringing mm -hmm. land in this conversation, yes. uh, do you think land is an investment? No, it depends on vile mm -hmm. uh, Yes. Okay, yeah. if you, well, no, that's true, if you're planning to probably resell it in a couple of years. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so what are a couple of financial lessons that you've learned along the way? 
in your line of business? Uh, top three. Let's let's go with top three financial <laughs> lessons that you've learned along the way. I think w once you've gotten certain, I mean, uh, certain amount, mm -hmm. it's always better to like to spend after you've saved. Spend after you've saved, okay? Yeah. Right. Not save after you've spent. Oh, yes. okay. And what's your um, mantra when it comes to saving? How many percentage do you save? Uh, I save like uh, 40%. 40%? Yes. Okay. Mm. Oh, okay, so it's on a saving account or an account that brings, you know, interest, you know? Yeah, it's an account that uh, brings interest. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. okay. Any other in investments apart from uh, uh, videography? Yes, well, uh, actually, in the summer, I was in videography. I'm also a farmer. I was a farmer. I was a Yes, na zote zimetokana na videography. Ah, okay, yes. so gani ndio danza videography ndio danza yes, na exactly. kufunga biashara ingine. Yes, yes. And they say that uh, your way to wealth is having, you know, numerous channels of bringing in income. income. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. Now, you, is that the direction you're taking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because in Nairobi you can't only live with one job. Okay. Yes. So especially during this time of uh, when COVID hit it hit us hard, so when it comes to you, you know, you have to go to the house. You have to go to the house. You have to go to Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so when it comes to farming, yeah, what are, is it, is it like hectic to balance from this other side? Because I believe when you, you can't always try, okay, there's always a notion that even if you decide to be a farmer, you have to like be there because people may take advantage of the whole situation in your absence, you know. But you have to go to the house. <laughs> maybe they sold your chicken so do you think like it's a challenge just balancing the two or do you okay let's answer that first before I ask, ask another question well I think uh, it's a matter of putting trust kwa wasaidizi wa kwa kazi yes okay, yes okay. yeah so kuna hizo pia but mm -hmm. definitely kuna those people na trust fully mm -hmm. yeah Okay. Mm -hmm. So to be asked, farmer, videographer, tambi chagui. Ah, zote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so what does uh, the future look like for touch, touch of, touch of a king? Yes. Touch of a king in uh, probably three years down the road. Let's do three years down the road. Uh in three years time i think touch of a king uh will be a proud label mm -hmm. to have uh assisted so many artists because i'm thinking of <coughs> sorry i'm thinking of signing artists wale wajwezi lakini wana talent yes mm. yes Th that can also act like giving back to the society right it's true yeah yeah the less privileged but they have talent but yeah, they lack yeah. the the means Oh, that's 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 something that I would like to to see happen. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. So for someone who's watching this and they're wondering, why would I want to work with you? What is different about the touch of touch of king? There's so many production <laughs> videographers out here. Yes. Why would I want to you know work with you? What would be your what would be what would you tell them? What would King Slacky tell them? Definitely. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. I feel I feel to Yes. <laughs> 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 yes. So I just look for that one. Ah, IG. I just look for that King Slacky. Okay. And uh, kwa Facebook, kwa YouTube, pia the same name. Okay. Now I'm sure you're going to do some work. What are the top? Uh, just winding up. It's not going to be so sad. What are the top three things that you look out for? Uh, I think message, uh -huh. uh, spiritually, I'm to peer, I'm to be a Naji Paki. Ah, to me funga, do you want to miss Kia? So, I try to find for channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles, at Michelle Oshira is where you can reach out to me, King Slacky.
Yes. King Slacky across all social media handles? Yes. King Slacky across all social media handles. That's where you can find him. And if you have any any question about video videogra videography, wow. wow. <laughs> but uh, so if you have any question about videography, <laughs> If you have any other question about videography, reach out to King Slacky and he's going to take you through on that. And if you want to work out to work with him, he does an amazing job. So that that as well. King Slacky is where you can find him at Michelle Ashira at Y254 channels where you can find us across all the social handles. Make sure you don't touch that dial. We'll be right back with more on why in the morning.